Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. And if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Our stock is down. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Stay with me. Dropped your pen. That's not bad. I think it's time. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Doctor. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Can't be real. <sighs> Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your name.
as you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looked. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself. Oh, every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. to the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> no, you, you need to let me go. You have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me! You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's 
because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Run the burglars! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about it. I was wondering about... It's not much yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! <laughs> yes! I cracked it! <laughs> shh, shh. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... Just shove off. Right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? The key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it, though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos. 
those are the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on our rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh my god! This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh. Love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you've enjoyed it. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot Punk would be dead. You don't know anything about me. No? Well, to my eyes, you're a lot like that dad of yours. And I'm a big fan of his work. Taking out his enemies by making them crazy. <laughs> Made this place a hell of a lot more interesting. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Assume I can take care of you. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? We will meet again. I promise you that. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a decision. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. The skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> 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 Multiple stabbings, one of the orderlies had a finger bitten off, and according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. Doctor, I swear to you I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. See, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the Veils. Ask her parents. <gasps> What's that about? <laughs> this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion, and neither should you, Al. Uh, 
Wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Like hell you are. The only way you're searching this car is with two broken arms afterwards. <laughs> oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart! I'm tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Go over to <laughs> run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest of their Keep lives! Keep back! You know what's good for you! Ram the barricade! This is the Batman you do it, Alfred!
What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. So where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn thing is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. I'd start by addressing the problem at hand. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Here's my DNA before the incident. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun.
Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. <laughs> Inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is.
It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. didn't cause this wound. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. What? That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive.
It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. Why are you hiding? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Just make sure he's taken care of and doesn't fall through the cracks. After what he's been through, he needs a good home. Yeah, I... I actually know the drill. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into.
Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Stunner just didn't work. That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. That Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tech that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be... Catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react by the way? Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Don't screw this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman? 
Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? You're getting quite a reputation around town. You don't just make threats. You back them up. Calm down, Dent. I just want to talk. Sounds good to me. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kind of small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? You're losing your mind, and everyone can see it, Dent. You want to save me? I protect everyone. So it seems. I guess I do owe you one. Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand. To see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. We lost a bunch of our own guys in the apartment next door! Jesus Christ! Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? City too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I Crime Alley. I took him to Crime Alley. <laughs> Protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing it. Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. I only told you. Dent knows. So someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. 
Ten thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution. Martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. My job isn't to save him. If he's hurting this city, then he needs to be stopped. It's all circling the drain. Dent was our real hope for this city, and now... He's not the man he used to be. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But, we gotta start somewhere. Maybe Grogan can help us. Hey, Dent's still the mayor. And Grogan's a by-the-book cop. Grogan respects you. You're smart. Make him listen. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jeff. I'm glad we're on the same side. Causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the back computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are, and which rooms are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. 
In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight now. Been a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we can control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wade was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. But Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we can own it? And then the liberation can truly begin! Okay, I think I'm getting bored of this now. It might just be time to kill you. Go ahead and try. Cobblepot. 
Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady Arkham. Ugh. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. Telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. What the? Just cut me down, mate.